Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're running with a bull prospect contact Yahoo and we are back in the babe. I see you guys really liked my uh, T26E4 super pershing video uh, yesterday so I figure I'd drop another one on you. Now this isn't one where I do a lot of damage but I utilize this tank very very well and we end up punching above our weight here. Uh, and by that I mean we take out or we take on at least I think it's six tanks at one time four four maybe maybe it's four but anyway we're gonna go up this left side and Yahoo's gonna be right behind me I believe he's in the uh, KV-5 monster Gornich or whatever it is and we're gonna just keep pushing methodically up this left side and uh, with any luck the already will leave us alone and we'll be able to do exactly what this tank is built for which is be very very hard to kill and you'll see what I mean in a minute now this tank is one of the easiest tanks to play in the game you don't have to do a whole lot but when a tank commander who has any sort of idea of what he's doing gets behind the wheel of this thing it can be a force to be reckoned with it only has a 90 mil gun but it, it's great penetration with the premium rounds subpar penetration with the standard rounds but great penetration with the premium rounds for its tier and it just it can go up and fight all of these tanks and as long as I'm not stupid and giving them the side or the underneath of my turret there we go put one in the Oni he tracks us now I'm gonna limit the amount of people who can shoot at me at one time and I'm gonna focus fire on the Oni's turret now these shots are going to go right through that turret because it's got a big flat spot right between the gun or right next to the gun that you can shoot. And then we've got his commander's hatch there. I try to take the shot, splash the hill, and you can see there's a guy right behind me. I think it's a light tank, but we're just going to keep punishing this Oni and he's going to keep trying to shoot us. Now I'm really frustrating this guy because he's taking shots and he can't give them back. And shot out. Oh, we hit the wall or hit the dirt again. But I don't want my, my partner to get shot at too much because I've got better armor than his heavy tank. Shot out. Another 225 damage. I pull forward. I block some more rounds. And I'm going to start to pie the corner here. Oh, the IS backs up the moment I pull the trigger. And like I said, you just want to limit the amount of people who can shoot at you so nobody gets comfortable and has time to aim. Shot out. Good hit on the IS. Don't really even need... All I did is auto-lock him there. And now I'm going to start pushing forward. And why? Because these guys are so flustered, they're falling back. So now that I'm pushing forward, they've got no choice. Now he tracks me, but right through the front of his turret, no problem. Now these are all heavy tanks. And I'm in a medium. And these guys got nothing for me. They just can't pin me. Oh, I bounce off the IS because I auto-locked him and hit the front pike of his top of his armor and can I load got it that shot went a little weird but it still managed to pin so now he, he tracked me again so I'm gonna pull up get into this kaiju and this oni the I think it was an oni wasn't it right into the side of his turret again our light tank dies and right through the side of his turret one last time to finally finish off the Oni. Now that Kaiju, he doesn't want anything to do with me. He already knows this is a foregone conclusion. He couldn't take me when they had three of them against me. So shot into him. He tracks me. This tank is so good at catching people off guard with the amount of armor that it has. And there's the last shot to put it in him. Now... I was contemplating pushing straight down around the left side, but this tank is not fast. So I'm going to fall back. I'm going to go back to where we just came from, and I'm going to push over the center. That cuts half of the travel out of this, and I'll be able to get behind some people, hopefully. Now, we got a couple guys heading to our base, which is not preferable, but with any luck, our guys can actually stop them. And then I'm going to try to just come around the backside and uh, do as much damage as I can. I'm up to 11 hits and 3 kills. That's a pretty good, pretty good game so far. But we're going to take this left right here, and we're going to go up over the hill. 
and then back towards the front of town. Because I want to get behind these heavies that are in town. So I drop off the cliff, no damage. And we have yet to take any damage other than tracks. They've hit our track, that's it. It's all about just limiting the amount of people that could shoot at you and making sure the ones that are able to shoot at you are at a very bad angle for that spaced armor without giving up your weak spots. This thing has plenty of weak spots. Now I take a, a, a flex shot there hoping to get a shot into the Lorraine, but you know, he's obviously unaware. He doesn't have six cents. He gets shot. He now knows he's spotted and he's trying to get out of there, but he bumps into something and shot out. So goodbye, Artie. And now we're just going to push over, and they get the last kill, so game over. Four kills, 13 pins, and a lot of blocked. So how much exactly? 4,100 blocked damage, 2,800 kill, or 2,800 damage, 4,100 blocked, four kills, top of the leaderboard. That's a good game. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.